There are a number of tools that we've developed here at the PDBE that you may find that are useful to your own research. PDBE Fold, for instance, helps you to find proteins based on their structural similarity to a protein of interest. We also have PDBE PISA, and this is used for calculation of the interfaces between molecules in a crystal entry and suggests which of these are likely to occur in solution. We also have our REST API, and this is used for programmatical access for data, so people interested in bioinformatics or large data sets. I don't have time to go into too much detail, unfortunately, in these, but I'll let you know how to find these services and find more information about these. So if you go to our homepage at pdbe.org, at the top right here, you'll see linked here for PDBE Fold, and this will take you to our Fold server. There is a launch button here to launch the service, and you can find any structurally similar proteins to yours of interest. You've then got the ability to view the superimposed structures and see where these similarities are on the structure, and maybe where any differences are as well within these structures. Another of our tools is PDBE PISA, and you'll find the link here on the top right, which will take you to the PISA server. Again, from this page, you would launch the service, and there's the launch button here. And PDBE PISA will find likely assemblies based on crystallographic interfaces. This is also found in the structure analysis tab of our entry pages. As you scroll down the page, there's a section for assemblies here, and this gives you information about the surface area accessible and buried, the multimeric state, energies in associated with the formation of the assembly, and also images so that you can see what the entry looks like as an assembly. Finally, you can also download these assemblies so that you can view them in a structure viewer outside. We also have an API here at PDBE. Before I move on to that, we'll talk about uh, how you can find out more about Fold and PISA. If you go to our training tab and click on tutorials, we have a number of tutorials here and you will find our webinar here once it's been finished. There's a link here for PDBE Fold and there's also a link for PDBE PISA and these are tutorials to help you find out how to use these services. We have an API here at the PDBE for use by uh, programmatical databases, programmatical access to the data. This link here will take you through to our API pages. And there are some links here to give you more information, for instance, some FAQs and some worked out examples. If you go to our documentation link, this will give you a list of calls that you can run on PDB entry data. If you run any of these calls, this will then return a script for you to use in your bioinformatics work. 